It's Scott Matats, you know, and that's just, it's wonderful to me. They still have to say, oh, no refunds will be given on the great Scott Matats, even though it's dead. And that's just, it's a wonderful world, I think, we live in, right? That's wonderful. Yeah. Uh, and then what happened, right? We had we had uh, horse jockeys. They were the number one jockey for a while. And then what happened? We got disc jockeys. They went down a peg. They went down a little bit. And they can't even go by. Disc jockeys, they get a cool nickname, right? They can be DJs. Imagine a horse jockey. They can't go around being an HJ, right? They can't even, even if they got the horse with them, people will be like, he's just jacking that horse. We can't, you know, they can't do that. But hopefully then they'll get replaced with robots and then they'll turn into glue. But we can't call it HJ glue, right? Because someone will try that. And then we're back at the beginning of this whole thing, right? For me twice. You don't want to, that'd be ridiculous. Uh, speaking of cum, though, if you ever ejaculate onto the chest of your partner, the, the, the term in the biz is called a pearl necklace, right? So next time, you know, your wife asks for jewelry, be like, hey, I got you. But no, I, I, I'm just joking. Don't do that. But I say that because I actually, I read this article a couple days ago that says now, uh, with the power of science, we can turn our sperm into little pearls, right? You know what that means? It's cum full circle, you guys. It's fucking... And I think that's a waste, right? Don't turn them into pearls, turn them into little marbles so then I can play with my kids, you know? I wanna, wanna be out there. All right. Have a whole other sack of my seed. We into that? All right. They don't like cum. I, uh, they love it, they love it. They love the cum. I, uh, Oh, this isn't close enough to Boston, but that's all right. Maybe you guys learned about it. Have you heard of the, Mola the Great Molasses Flood? Yeah. I'll end you with this one. The Great Molasses Flood. So one time, back, at, back a long time ago, those people up in Boston, they were so silly. They couldn't keep a hold of all their molasses, and they had so much that one day it exploded, and there were just waves of it, a whole tsunami. But it wasn't like water, right? Like, we weren't scared. You know, it wasn't like, it wasn't fast. You know, we had our French toast sticks. It was like an event, right? We were just doing our thing. But finally, like, it settled. They got the numbers. Uh, there were um, there were like three people died, 14 people were injured, I think, and uh, only two people were molested. You guys, all right. I've been Patrick McKinstry. Uh, have a great night. Give it up for Electric Boogaloo too, and Patrick McKinstry. All right. So we've been through 17,000 comics tonight. And we only got 33 million more to go. <laughs> On deck, we got Tevin. Jevin? He just fucking told me his name, too. That's where I'm, uh, I'm sorry, Jevin. Okay, and I'm very grateful that the next comment actually spelled their name out phonetically. I'm still gonna fuck it up, right? Michael, you there? Yeah. Michael. I know. Abund. <laughs> Which Michael? You got it. Michael? Uh, yeah, yeah, I believe you. Bro. I can't see it no more. Yeah, try it, try it. Oh. A Yeah! Michael, a Goonbiade! <laughs> Give it up. All right, he he almost had a hernia trying to say that shit just now. He almost did. But he tried really hard not to be racist, so I respect it. Can we give it all another, another clap for him? Another clap for him. All right, cool. Uh, you guys like the president?